Keep your heads lifted up, awesome family in Jesus Christ. And you're awesome. We're awesome because we believe in Jesus Christ. So he gave us the free gift of eternal life in the Holy Spirit. Praise you, Father. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Psalms 34, 4. I sought the Lord, Yeshua, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. And he said to fear not. So don't worry about anything, fam. It is finished. And prophecy will be fulfilled. And you already seen this a few days ago. I ran fires 181 missiles at Israel. Well, I'm going to point something out, and it's gigantinormous. There's a reason why it was 181 missiles. And now I'm going to share with you the connection. And it's right here, family. And it's the main reason that Israel is at war. And it has to do with everything, including the resurrection and our departure, the rapture. And it's United Nations Resolution 181. And it's not a coincidence that it's the same number of missiles that were fired by Iran at Israel. It's all about dividing the land, the holy land of Israel. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. And this is how it will all end and how the thousand-year reign will all begin. And it's all tied into the dividing of the land. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people, for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And all glory to our Father, he's lighting me up with Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh. Yeshua has all the power over heaven and earth, and there's no such thing as coincidences. And this is the end times holy war. And when all these things come to pass and you see Jerusalem surrounded, compassed with armies, lift your heads up, your redemption draweth near. So keep watching and expecting him and quit setting rapture dates. Just point out the dates that these things are happening and the signs of his coming right where he said they would be in the sun, the moon, and the stars. Revelation 3.3, 3, remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. And most of you remember my wife, Christina, escaped in 2022. And her spirit went back to God. And it was October 17th, and we're coming up on that date. And it's a full moon this year on the 17th. And we'll get into that more later in the video. I'm going to make this quick, though. When Christina was here, she had a dream that 725 was there, but no one could find 811. And everybody was freaking out, panicking, running around, trying to find 811, but they could not find it. And all glory to our Father, he showed us all these signs, and I created this flyer, and we shipped it out. Sonia shipped it out, praise God. And you brothers and sisters funded it. And we shipped out 100 flyers to 100 people we printed 10,000 of these flyers with the signs on them. And we just passed this eclipse. And the eclipse was at its maximum for 7 minutes and 25 seconds. And it's not a coincidence that this attack happened one day before the eclipse, family. It's right there. October 1st, 2024, Iran launched 181 ballistic missiles at targets in Israel. And the missile attack was codenamed Operation True Promise. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? And the appointed day is very close. So don't worry about people discouraging you. Don't worry about people saying no one knows the day or hour but the Father. We already know that. 
What you want to remember is if therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. So just keep watching and looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He's coming to get us. Everything is being prepared at this very moment. And remember, he told me finding the date of the rapture is not what's important. What's important is what you do until that date. So stay focused. Keep watching. Keep expecting him. And before you know it, we'll be with him. And he just lit me up again. Praise you, Father. Now back to Christina's dream and no one could find 811. And I'm not trying to find the date of the rapture. And I'm not saying that the rapture is on 1111. But many of us, almost all of us, have had experiences with 1111. But I want you to be aware and you know that God gives 40-day warnings and he works in 40-day periods biblically. And if you go 40 days from October 2nd, the eclipse, right after Iran attacked Israel... And you add 40 days, it lands on November 11th, 11-11 this year. And until the rapture happens, major events and wars and rumors of war will be taking place. And when you go to the Hebcal Converter, 11-11 this year is Cheshvan 10. And remember, on Cheshvan 17, that's when the Great Flood happened. Well, Cheshbon 10 is when they went into the ark, Noah and his family. So I just want you to be aware of this, that major events are going to happen until the rapture. And our father is keeping us tuned in with his eclipses and these events. So stay awake, stay alert, keep watching. And most of you know, Cheshbon is the eighth month. So the anniversary of Noah getting on the ark this year is on 11-11, Cheshvan 10. The following day will be the 8th month and the 11th day. And it matches these missiles being fired by Iran at Israel and it matches Resolution 181. So stay tuned, it's about to go down. And we're about to go up. Now on to the signs and the sun, the moon and the stars, right where Jesus Christ said they would be and he never lies. Hallelujah. And the new moon was confirmed yesterday and started the seventh biblical month. And this is a email from Deborah's date tree confirming it. And when is the new moon.com confirmed it too. And RenewedMoon.com confirmed it too. So the Feast of Trumpets started yesterday and it runs for two days. It's going to run right to the year anniversary of when Israel was attacked last year on 10-7. And remember, I showed you all glory to our Father in what they call the woman, Virgo, this false god, because the constellations weren't originally named these things. I showed you that Esther was right there in the middle. And when you go to today's date, you could see that Esther is moving past the imaginary line. And Esther will move past the imaginary line as soon as the Feast of Trumpets is over on the year anniversary of when Israel was attacked. And the comment that just appeared that they're calling the Star of Jacob, Sushashan Atlas, is on the move. And it's right there today. And there's pictures of it all over the internet, family, like this one by the Eiffel Tower. And as you go through the days, you can see it flies right through what they call the woman. And on the full moon, which is on 1017, you can see right there that it's on the snake. And almost every rapture dream with a moon is a full moon, family. I don't even have to tell you. You already know. And on October 17th, this month, the full moon UTC time will be at 1756. It's right there, which is 726 Eastern Daylight Time.
And 726 in Strong's Bible Concordance is catching away, harpazo, rapture. So again, he's keeping us tuned in and the rapture will happen. And no one knows the day or hour but our father. So let's keep pushing until the baby is born and the birth pains are over and the child is caught up to the throne. And Jesus Christ said, do not lay your riches up on earth. Lay them up in heaven. And he also said, when you give food and drink to the lesser of the brethren, it's just like giving it to him. So I'm still pushing and I'm still handing out packs and tents. All glory to our father. And thank you, family, for your support, because I wouldn't be able to do it on this level without you. And here's what it looks like after I make up the packs with the Bibles and all the supplies and the food. And that's what it looks like after I packed them up. And praise God, I just went out with my nephew, Jonah, and we handed all these packs and tents out. Praise God. And if Jesus Christ is making a way for you to donate because you can't do this, because you work full-time jobs or you have health issues, God bless you all. Thank you. And if you're being led to donate so I could keep doing this until the rapture, all my information is in the description box under this video. Me and Christina, praise you, Father, started doing this in 2017. So I've been doing this for seven years, five years with her and two years by myself. And in 2017, he told me to drop the nets and follow him. So through faith, I stopped working for man and I've been working for Jesus Christ full time this whole time. And it's up to him. So I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing until the rapture happens, God willing. And I'm proud of every one of you that have been doing it too. It's being obedient. So keep trying your best to be obedient, family. He blesses you for it. And keep doing it out of love. And remember, Acts 5.32 says, And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. So keep your heads up. Keep pushing. Let's finish this race strong. And if we're still here, he's showing me extremely gigantinormous signs ahead. And if we're still here, I'll share them with you. A-S-A-P. Keep your heads up, family. I love you. And I'll see you at the finish line in the clouds.